hello everyone. This is Richard, and uh, I always start off saying, and uh, I'm here to talk about how, from my other video, how um, I just want to talk about specify a specific thing that I was talking about from my other video, which was about um, how beauty is fleeting and that it's a concept for each generation or era, and that it never is um, constant. It's always changing and shifting. And while I was talking about that, I was also talking about how it's unhealthy to want um, new things to occur in life or to have new inventions be, be made or to reintroduce a way to tell a story or to hear a new sound from music. The thing is, is that the human race has been, uh, has been fooled, I guess, by thinking that there's new things. Or that we need to have new things in order to feel stimulated. You know, that we become bored. But the thing is, is though, you have to think about it. What? Why are we bored? Why do we get bored from things that, that are uh, seemingly, they get old, music gets old, movies get old, or concepts of stories get old, or technology or whatever, they get old. Yeah, they get old. But if you think about it, uh, nothing is really old. Everything is just in a sustained, encapsulated state of continuation. You know, nothing is really past. Everything is, everything is future, past, and present. So nothing is really old. You know, and I think that it's, just to get some meat and potatoes, it's unhealthy for people to want new things. Now, the reason why I say that is because for water, for instance, we never question water. It's a sustainable source for the human race, correct? But we never think, well, you know, let's uh, change the color of water and or let's change the compounds of water. You know, I'm bored of water. Let's let's change let's change water. You know, um why would you want to do that? Never, no one ever says or questions water. No one ever questions uh, grass, or no one ever questions, uh, um, you know, rocks, or the earth, or anything like that, because those things are vital to our uh, civilization and our existence, our perpetuation of existence. We never question the real sustainable things to change, because we know we need them to be the same, because our or the way the construct of the body is made and built, we need those things to remain the same. You know? But, for some reason, we question things around us, things that we create to be changing. That, the reason why we question things around us to be changing, music and movies and all that, technology, is because the way that we live socially is unhealthy. The way that we live socially is unhealthy. Now, let me specify what I mean by that. We create a new sound, you know, from the 70s and 50s, we, we, we try to look for new things, use technology, use computers to create new sounds, new types of riffs and guitars and all that. Um, we try to create something new that shocks people or creates, you know, but, but why do we do that? Why? Well, the reason why we want new things from from the things that we create to reinvent them or create the wheel, recreate the wheel, is because the things that we create are, uh, in, in, in a sense, um, passive. They don't really give us sustainableness. They don't really perpetuate our existence. They're just things that we listen to or things that we do for the moment to entertain us. They're not things that are vital to our existence. Music is not vital. Movies is not vital. Books is not vital. Technology is not vital. Animals don't have technology. You know, we've, we've, we've lived well without technology. The reason why we're progressive and we're looking for new things is because those things don't provide the exact same healthy existence as, fo as food, you know, um, water, as air, as, as um, the way the planet is, rotates and keeps us safe from um, global warming and, and icing over and all this stuff. Because they are not, they are not essential. 
They are feeble things that we create for the moment in order to entertain us. But the thing is, is that why do we need it? Because those things, like I said, are passive creations. They do not, they're not, they are not at the same level as water and air. That's why we choose to try to change them because they do not provide enough perpetuation or enough um, uh, uh, enough um, balance in our lives. It's a show, it, technology and media and entertainment is a social imbalance. You know, what we need to do as a race is create a sound for music, create a t certain type of movie. Uh, for movies, stories for movies, create a certain type of technology that sustains us, that feeds us, so that we do not need to have the, so do, so that we do not have to have to keep on changing those things. Just because it's possible, it's possible only because those things that we create don't really do anything in the long run. Movies and music don't do anything in the long run. Only certain types of songs do well. Only certain types of movies do well. Only types of te technology serves us well. But they are not food. They are not something that could continually feeds the body to be imbalanced. Because, look, this is, the, this is what I'm trying to say. Technology doesn't give the body the sustainable balance in existence that we need in order to be satisfied every day of our lives, to live well and balanced and respectful to others in society. Food... What food does is that it does just that. It balances us to the point where we do not need any progression from it or any changes from water or anything else because it gives us everything that we need. Everything that we need. Nothing more. The body doesn't demand anything else. The brain doesn't demand anything else because water provides every damn thing that you need to survive on planet Earth. Air provides everything that you need. Because those things are vital to our existence, but everything else is feeble and fleeting. When you eat something, when you drink something, it helps to make the skin softer, it helps you make more healthier, it helps you feel better, it helps you think better, it helps you socialize better. Movies and music is just movies and music are a detached creation that we make that is just a fleeting thing that we just kind of put there for an era. You know, just to kind of passively just listen to every once in a while in our existence. But it doesn't feed us whole, hopefully. It doesn't feed us soulfully. It doesn't feed us anything. Having new things. The reason why we need new things is because we are unhealthy mentally and physically. We are unhealthy from the things that we create. The things that we create do not give us enough, enough um, benefit. The reason why we need new things, the reason why we get bored, the reason why we, we want new things is because the things that we make don't do anything for us in the long run. They don't do anything. They're not food. It's not water. What I think is that the human race should do is create one thing, one type of entertainment that feeds us and perpetuates us so that we do not need to change it up. The final product, the final thing, the final creation, whatever it is, music or movies or whatever, which is never going to be, you know. But we need to create entertainment that feeds us soulfully, which will probably will never happen. You know, like animals in the wild, like I said, um, they live every day without music. They live every day without movies. They live every day without technology. Every day they live. They live they listen to the music of the forest. They listen to the music of the jungle. They listen to the music of the of the desert, of their existence. It perpetuates them. It keeps them in balance. We create new things because we are unhealthy. We're unhealthy because we don't eat right. We're, we're unhappy and bored because we don't eat right. We're, uh, the human race is very um, childish. Uh, that's the right word. We're childish. We want something new. And we don't appreciate what, what is created now. When in reality, there is nothing new. You know, uh, you know, um, it's just all media and entertainment and other people trying to push pe down people's throat. And that's, that's a whole other thing. But entertainment, technology, and everything else, if we eat better, we do not, if we were to eat better, we would treat each other better. If we were to eat better, we would not need a new cell phone. 
if we were to eat better, we would not need um, a new vehicle. We would not, if we were to eat better, we would not need um, a new movie or a new book. You are your own entertainment. You, you feed your own self. Create your own music. Create something that feeds you as a person. You know, not a mass product, but something that feeds you as an individual. You know, make your own movies. Do, do something that feeds you better, you know. Most entertainment is forced down people's throats. That's really unhealthy. You know, if people were forcing down food down their throats, that would be unhealthy too. But people, but the human race is bored because we're unhealthy as a whole. It, we don't eat right, so we feel bad throughout the day. And we listen to music, and that diverts, that diverts the uneasedness of our existence. That's all it does. It diverts us from the real problem. Movies and music and entertainment and technology, all it does is divert the real issue that needs to be, that needs to be resolved, which is our health. We're bored because we're unhealthy. We need new things in life because we're unhealthy. We don't, we don't connect to each other enough. You know, we don't need directors and writers and all these other people. They need us. They need us more than we need them. They're begging us. Go to the theaters. Watch my movie, please. They're begging us. Go listen to my song, please. I need you. They don't tell you that, but that's, the, that's, that's what they're doing. Go read my book, please. Go read my book. Why are they telling you this? Because they themselves are unhealthy. Now, you're going to argue and say, oh, well, you know, uh, the human race has always been this way. But yes, but the human race has always been unhealthy. We're at a pinnacle now where we could use technology to find all the things that we need to be healthy as individuals. That in turn will be, will then, will, will then, and will become something that will be beneficial to the society. When one person changes, another person does another, 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 and it becomes a thing that affects everyone positively. The human race, from the very beginning, Leonardo da Vinci, you know, he created new things and all that stuff, but he was, he was an unhealthy person. You know, they didn't have a lot of health, they didn't have, all they ate was grain and bread and water, you know, a lot of grain in your, in your diet is not good, and they ate fruits and all that. I mean, some of the things were healthy, but, but when you look at, you know, the diet is, was really poor back then. It really was. They ate meat. They didn't cook it right. Um, and, and the society in Leonardo da Vinci's era was very angry and they had, they were very uh, evil and very, had a lot of envy and jealousy toward each other. They didn't treat each other right. Why? They didn't treat each other. Why was the era of Leonardo da Vinci's era so bad? Because they were unhealthy. Leonardo da Vinci possibly suffered from a lot of, of emotional distress. You know? A lot of, a lot of emotional distress. And uh, those types of things can lead to wanting new things when all you need is just to be healthy. Just to be healthy. When you're healthy, you're happy. When you're happy, you're not worried about going to a concert or whatever. You're not following a trend. That's all that technology is and movies is, is a trend. They're trends. It's progression of society in terms of knowledge. But you got to pay attention to yourself first. You got to pay attention to how you eat first. You know, instead of being in a hospital, instead of uh, being sick at home, the whole when the whole human race becomes healthy, the whole shift of technology and boredom and the need of new things will dissipate slowly. We'll start to focus more on each other and ourselves and become more um, happy within our existence. And then the, 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 the need for new things is a result of being unhealthy. Unhealthy in terms of what we digest and eat. That could be the sole problem. That then leads to the idea as a, as a mass of the race that we need a new song. I'm bored. Why are you bored? Because you're unhealthy. Unhealthy leads you to be, uh, to be bored and wanting something new to divert the problem, which is your health to divert yourself from the problem of your health so you can forget about it. We're constantly going around in circles wanting new things, new songs, new movies, but we're diverting from ourselves first. We make horror movies, we make uh, all these types of movies, 
You know, we, we're we an unhealthy race. We're, un, we're a very unhealthy race. We're diverting from ourselves, running away from ourselves, trying to find other things to help us make feel better, to help us feel better. You know, and that's just the truth. That's the truth, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, you, you get bored. Why? Because you're unhealthy. You didn't eat right today. Being healthy, you when when you're healthy, when you're one hundred percent healthy, which the human race has not felt for a long time, your own existence is your own entertainment. You know, it's kind of crazy to say that, but your own existence is enough to help to help you become less bored. Your own existence is what helps you. You know, people say that children have uh, Down syndrome and they have uh, ADD because the mother and father ate unhealthy, so the so the children become affected by what the mother and father, the health of the mother and father's what was when they had the child. And that affects how they feel in life, how what they need. They're constantly confused and sad. When the mother and father wants to make a new child, they have to become healthy themselves. When they become healthy, the child is happy and healthy. Doesn't need to be pushing things, you know? Doesn't need to be discovering new things because their own existence is, is what they need. And now, and, and there is going to be people that will and want to discover and new, do new things if the human race does get healthy. But it'll be more of like a small trivial, like a like a, a small trivial thing that it should not consume you wanting new things. You know, it should not consume your life wanting a new cell phone. It should not consume you. You know, and I think that because of poor health. Now, this is just a a theory of mine. On the fly, that uh, I think that you know the mathematicians, you know, like all the mathematicians, the creators of the geometry and mathematics, they were uh, all unhealthy. You know, the brain goes through this kind of when, when you're when, when you go through life, your brain goes through all these types of phases and of growths, and inside the brain and the neurons and all that. And in the fabric of the brain itself, it drives us to think irrational things. And, the, and I think that mathematics is kind of within itself as an irrational thought because of the unhealthiness, you know. But it's debatable, you know, it really is debatable whether mathematics is an irrational creation because of, because of the person being born unhealthy. You know, you start to have irrational thoughts. When you're unhealthy because your body's not fed right. Even the people from the past who created mathematics, they did not have a good diet. They, they don't have the technology and the information on the computer that we have. Now that we have it, we could get healthy and leave technology alone and just be ha happy. You know? Why do, we need, why, why do scientists look for new things? Because they're unhealthy. They're unhealthy. They're, they're bored and they're sad because they're unhealthy. It's unhealthy to think that you want something new. The animals, they just exist. They just exist. You know? They don't want nothing else. They just exist. And that leads to a better structure in their lives. But as a race, we need to become more healthier and, be, and start thinking more rationally. And stop needing things and wanting new things because that's not what we need. We need to just exist. And just think about what I said. And uh, this is Rich Cispedes. Thank you very much for watching.